Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is May 13th. This episode is related to Ehang. Before we go on, let's see the countdown to mid-2022. For today, the countdown to mid-2022 is 47 days. If the type certification granting passed the date, we will present the ticking past mid-2022. The type certification granting is a historical event and deserves our excitements and celebrations regardless of the general stock market sentiments. The EVTOL industry is still at the early stage. But there have been frequent events and activities going on for Ehang and its partners. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about recent relevant events. First, about Ehang and its partner at Duroan Expo 2022. Let's know a bit about Duroan Expo. Duroan Expo is the conference and expo for drone professionals and their applications, tailored to the Spanish drone industry, integrating all subsectors to present the latest developments in the sector, find opportunities for collaboration between companies and with administrations, promote projects and businesses, and to be at the forefront of information about the drone industry. For this year, Duroan Expo 2022 has been held from May 11th to 12th in Madrid, Spain. At the expo, the EH216 AAV has been showcased by OpenVIA Air of Global VIA. Please note that the EH216 showcased here has been provided by Global VIA instead of by Ehang or Ehang Spain. This may indicate Global VIA has purchased EH216 for display and possibly for its own test flights. In July last year, Ehang and Global VIA reached a strategic partnership to develop urban air mobility. Next, let's know a bit about Global VIA. Globalvia's infrastructure concession network was established in 2007 and currently encompasses 27 highway and railway projects in seven countries, Spain, the United States, Ireland, Portugal, Mexico, Costa Rica, and Chile. Globalvia will cooperate with Ehang to advance flights tests and demonstrations, training and maintenance, certification, and business development using OpenVIA, Globalvia's mobility solutions platform. Next, let's know a bit about OpenVIA Air for UAM from GlobalVIA. OpenVIA Air is developed for the urban air mobility, UAM, scenarios. Autonomous, sustainable EVTOL vehicles will travel along airways between strategically selected points where GlobalVIA will set up their Verdi ports. UAM will considerably reduce traveling times in cities, where road traffic is highly congested. To provide services such as taxis, flying ambulances, logistics or tourist routes, OpenVIA Air will integrate UAM services in current airspace, collaborating with the administrations to establish a regulatory framework and to ensure environmental protection and balance. Meanwhile, the company, GlobalVIA is working to make OpenVIA Air become a benchmark in the sector, collaborating with administrations in pilot projects and establishing alliances with different companies so that together this new UAM transport system can become a reality. It is exciting to see that at this early stage, Ehang's international partner GlobalVIA has started to develop the integrated UAM operation platform and has acquired EH216 to do the test flights and will eventually use EH216 EVTOL aircraft for providing the UAM services. Back to the expo. Here is a photo of EH216 displayed at the exhibition. Here you can see the OpenVIA Air sign. Here is another photo at the OpenVIA Air booth. Besides Ehang's partner GlobalVIA, Ehang's international representatives also participated in the event. Ehang COO for Europe and Latin America Vicky Jing Xiang also shared Ehang's vision on the AAV industry at a UAM panel of the Expo conference. Next, about an event related to Ehang first user experience flight at Aizhai in Jishou City, Hunan. Recently, we have reported that Ehang has signed a low-altitude flight project agreement with Jishou City in Hunan province. This contracted project is divided into two phases. The first phase of the project has an investment of 10 million yuan, focusing on the cooperation of low-altitude flight projects in Aizhai tourist attractions, and introducing a professional operation management model to create low-altitude flight featured products. Now, the first user experience flights have been conducted at Aizhai tourist attractions. The users who experienced the flights have given very exciting feedbacks. Aizhai is a town under Jishou City. It is known for its mountain scenic attractions and Aizhai Bridge. Ehang 216 has taken the users to experience the grand landmarks with the cool technology. It is good to see Ehang has been making progresses in air tourism by partnering with local entities. Air tourism is the low-hanging fruit for Ehang to grasp. 
The latecomers will almost have no chance once Ehang has established the partnership with the locals and start the operation. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies, and culture. Please subscribe.